Okay. Energy focus for the week. What a weekend, right? Oh my goodness. Come on in and join me. I'm streaming over here on Instagram as well as Facebook Live and in my Empowered Spirit Circle as well. Come on in and join me. Let's talk about the cosmos, send our energy and look to guidance for what's going on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Faris. How are you? Come on in and join me. What a weekend. What an intense weekend, right? It really is. And all the way. Tonight, we're finally starting to move out. But even today, let me tell you, woo, big energy coming in for all of us. Just really intense. So let me know how you're doing. Did you sleep? <laughs> Did you have crazy dreams? Did you get into arguments? Like, what is going on? Did all your stuff come up? Because that really is what's going on. All right. So let's begin. Take a nice deep inhale. So welcome, everyone. Terri Ann Hyman here. This is my energy focus for the week, which is the live stream version for my Empowered Spirit Show podcast. So this is where I come on. We talk about the cosmos. We align our energy. We prepare for the week. And then we look to the cards for some guidance as well. So yes, we move through all of that energy of the full moon, the eclipse, all of that intensity. And I know where I am right here down in Birmingham, really all over the country, though, it showed up in the weather, it showed up in the elements. Here it was storms and wind and rain and other places, the fires and the snow, all of it was super, super intensive. Yes, it was very intense. So as we go into the week, we're gonna be just really trying to sort it all out. What's going on? What happened? How am I showing up? All of this energy is really coming forward. But the big thing that everybody's talking about, at least in the astrology world and all my circles I've been listening in, is this conjunction of the Saturn and Pluto energy. All right, really big energy. So Saturn is the energy, like it comes around and around and it really is like our responsible energy, a lot of karma energy. Pluto is a very slow moving planet, all right? It's bigger out there. It makes bigger changes, bigger disruptions. It wants to make those issues come forward. So when the two come together, which is what conjunction means, all right, they come together, they create this energy together, and it really is, it's just breaking up all that stuff out there, all the things we don't want to look at, all of that karmic energy is coming forward, and it's going to affect you, all right, maybe directly, indirectly, I know for me, I got already a little sign of it today, like trying to help and just like really miscommunication, feeling just a lot of intensity. So that's what's going on. And really, it, of course, it always depends on where it hits you in your charts, right? It's at a 22 degree aspect. So wherever that is for you, it's going to be able to, if you look at that, you'll see, but I know where it is for me, <laughs> right? And so sometimes we just have to really take it easy. I was listening to Capacha. Anybody watch Capacha, Paley's report? He was awesome. He was talking about the Saturn and Pluto energy. It's like the root chakra, the root chakra, especially for the earth. Stuff is just coming up, it's boiling over, it's bringing up. So all of that stuff, whether it's fires within you or fires on the earth or whether it's an eruption, all of this energy is really coming up. And it really is, and we've been talking and talking and talking about this, really forcing you to let go of what's not working. Up-level your energy. That's what all of this energy is all about. And so it's forcing us to do it. And if you haven't been doing the work, if you haven't been meditating, sitting quietly, noticing what's going on, you're going to feel it more. It's going to be intense. And even, like I said, even today, some stuff happened. And it's like bringing this stuff up. Take a step back. Release the energy. I've been clearing my energy all afternoon, right? And we're going to see this. This is what happens. So as we go into the week, you're going to start trying to be like sorting it all out. Like, what happened this weekend? Like, whoa, that was pretty big, right? And you're going to be starting to sort it out. But also, too, tomorrow we also have some little bit of Venus energy coming into Pisces, which I think may help to lighten some of this up because Venus is that love, romance, and all that energy is going to come forward, and you're going to feel a little bit better. And it's actually in Pisces, too, which is actually going to help you to like be a little bit more loving and creative in how you look at this energy for yourself. All right, as you're bringing the stuff up, the stuff comes up and it reflects in our face. And I know for me, sometimes it's like, oh, I didn't really mean that or I didn't really like the way that came out. And so it reflects for you to understand more and more about yourself. All right, it really does. So it's not always the easiest to look at. And I'll be honest, this just wasn't this weekend that this energy is going to be around. This is really setting the stage really for this year. 
So there's lots of information that can be sorted out. There's lots of stuff going on that's going to trigger. And when we have these energies coming together, this Pluto and Saturn, right? It started today as it comes together, that responsibility, that to-do list, that working really hard, coming with Pluto, which is wanting to stir the pot, <laughs> it is going to bring stuff up. So really the best thing to do is to take some time. All right, I know for me, it's like extra meditation. Slow down, ask the questions, what's going on? What can I do to let go? What can I do because we're asked to being, to, we're asked to up level our energy, all right? And get to that next step. And that could be very overwhelming for a lot of people. I know for myself, it can be too. So Saturn energy, if you work with it, you'll see that you could start to break it down into smaller chunks. We don't have to get to that vision or that dream or that new up level all at once. And I know for me, I always want to get there. I see the vision. I'm a visionary. I see it. I want to just get there. But the work really is in breaking it down and working, really working through, taking the next steps and letting go, right? Really important. So we do have some good aspects this week. Like I said, Monday, Venus coming in. You're going to feel a little bit more loving. Start with yourself, love yourself, all the more reason, but also could, it could play out in your romance levels as well with somebody else. So that energy is going to come through. And again, it can offer a little bit of that deep spiritual energy being in Pisces to help you spiritually understand what am I doing? What is my purpose? What is that next up leveling for me all about? Because it's going to hit. It's going to hit you no matter what, whether you want to tune into it or not. But when we tune into the cosmic forces, we can understand more about what is going on. And then I find we can work with that energy. All right. So Monday, again, we're going to have a little bit of that sorting all the energy out. You may feel a little bit of that tension moving forward. All right. But know that that Venus energy is going to come in. And if you can spend some time being really loving, really kind to yourself. And again, I'm taking that advice. And I've got a little asthma going on, a little bit of emotional energy coming in to affect me today. And it really does play on that heart for me, that breathing Maybe you're feeling a little bit of weakness somewhere in yourself as well. So love on yourself, self-care, take time for you, all right? And then we have some bigger energy coming in, which is going to be a little bit more fun and loving too as well. Tuesday and Wednesday, the moon's going to go into Virgo, which will help you to sort out what it is that you need to do. Thursday, we have some bigger visions with Mercury going into Aquarius, and that's just going to be expansion energy expansion of communication. We we're just working with this tonight in our meditation. Expanding of communication and how you think about things. Air, Aquarius is always that, like, you know, just like that opening up, expand the horizon. We're moving into that age of Aquarius. So again, when we have that energy coming forward, it's like, how can you think beyond the limits and beliefs of what you do, right? We all hold our limited beliefs. It's not like a bad thing, but it helps us to open up and expand that horizon so that you can get out of limited beliefs. We get stuck, our upbringing, what we believe, what we think, that can really get you to thinking only in a narrow box. So this energy is going to stir it up, whether you want to or not. And when we work with the elements again, it's so much easier. Then as we move into Friday, Friday's going to be a B. We'll have some of that Sagittarius, which is that adventure energy coming in with the moon. And then Saturday might stir up a little bit more because we have some of that Scorpio energy. Hello, I have Scorpio rising. So we'll have that on the weekend, which could be a little bit more intense. But overall, it is a good week. We do have lots coming in. You can work with it or you can work against it. All right. So a lot of people are like, oh, no, this conjunction. But it's like a lot of energy coming together. And it's a lot of energy that is going to help all of us move through all this energy that's in Capricorn. So do your work, slow down, write your task out, break stuff down, and ask the questions, what can I let go of? All right, you're going to feel that pull on yourself. The old ways aren't happening. And I know for myself, I know that, you know, I was caught up in a little bit of that old energy where I was living with my mom, taking care of my mom, and then she passed away. And now I'm in my own space and trying to figure out who am I? <laughs> right? And I was caught right in between. So I had to use my own tools, right? Do a little tapping, got a little help, tap it through, move it out. And then, wow, things will shift. They do for me and they can for you too. We have these tools and that's really why we have these tools. So it's going to be an intense week coming out, but we do have the energy that that moon starts to release, starting to let go of some of that emotional energy, so take care, watch your words, watch what you say. I know I learned my own lessons this evening as well. That's what it's about. We let go of the energy and we move forward. Monday with that Venus energy is going to be loving. Love yourself first.
All right, as you love yourself first and be gentle with yourself, especially through all these changes, that will radiate out for everyone else. Tuesday, we're going to have some of that like practical energy that's going to allow you to see what you need to do. Bigger visions will come in as well. Intuition plays a big point in this as well. And then we'll have some fun energy as we move towards the weekend. Scorpio can be fun, but it can be a little intense as we get into Saturday. So take it day by day. Do your work. All right. Know that by slowing down, especially at the beginning of the year, we get all excited. We got all those intentions going. We want things to change. Do your work. Slow down and ask yourself these questions. All right. Take the time to do that. All right. So let's just take a moment now to excuse me, to bring our energies in, taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Just let go. Let go of the weekend. That's all I got to say. Let it go. Sometimes it's hard, especially in the emotional energy. We tend to hold on to it. So I'm taking my own advice right now. Let it go. Release it out. Take a nice deep inhale. Just bring that breath up the body. And exhale, sending it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Inhaling. And exhaling. Feeling yourself pulling in. Call in your spiritual body. Call in, align it right on top of the physical body. Shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips. Feel the energy coming in. Call in your higher self. Allow yourself to drop into the heart. Inhaling. And exhaling, sending the breath down deep into the earth. Feel that connection with Mother Earth. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Feel that alignment coming in. As we take this time to honor where we are right here, beginning of the year, moving through this full moon in the season of winter. As I teach with the teachings of the medicine wheel, the winter is in the direction of the north where we dream, where we go within, where we look to our visions, where we open up to the wisdom of our elders, our ancestral energy. We call in the directions for guidance and protection to the north, the east, the south, and the west, above us, below us, right into the very center, feeling that alignment, calling in your spirit, setting your intention for this week to move through, to sort out, to calm down, to love yourself deeply. Feeling those intentions, feeling those elevated emotions of joy and love and peace and let that radiate out through your auric field. Feeling it reaching out, opening up. Just taking another few deep inhales, letting go of this weekend, all that intensity of the elements. Exhale, sending the breath down deep into the earth. Feel that fresh prana coming up from the earth, through the body, through the crown, up into the higher realms. And as you exhale, bring that breath down all the way deep into the earth, slowing down, inhaling, and exhaling. Allowing yourself to let go of whatever you can let go in this moment. Energy follows intention. Whatever excess emotional energy you picked up from the full moon, family, friends, relationships, just send it away. Cut the cords. Let it be gone. Send it back to whoever it belongs to. Clear your energy, your big emotional energy this week. Just clear it out. Let it go. And as you do, pull your energy body in. Pull the aura in closer and closer to your center. Feel your feet on the earth, grounding with that energy of Mother Earth. Inhaling and exhaling. Feeling that alignment coming in as you prepare for this week. Sending those intentions out, feeling those elevated emotions. Inhaling and exhaling. Bringing the awareness back, opening the eyes, blinking them open, coming back as we look to the cards for some guidance. So I love this card. The first card that comes in is the energy of this four of wands. So this is a great card because it's allowing us to understand that as we let go, 
we open up and transform. Butterflies are always about transformation. And that's what's going to happen. So even though it hurts sometimes to go through the depths of your soul, even though it may hurt, know that as you do, you will transform. Just like that butterfly, you'll start to open up and rise above. All right, great card as we move through this week because it's been intense. <laughs> There's no getting around it. It has been intense. All right. Got a few thumbs up on that one. All right. So if you chose card number one, this is always a fun card to come around because this is like the four of cups is like people may look at you like, what are you complaining about? You've got a nice home. You drive a car. You've got to work. You've got a job. What are you complaining about? So this reminds us not to be too greedy, not to be a rat, right? The rat on the four of cups. All right. And to remind us to offer that gratitude for what we do have. Gratitude is that ascending emotion, but if we're always in that constant complaining, complaining, I want more, I want more, it's going to keep you in this state of lack. So allow yourself to feel the balance. Four is about balance. It's a universal year of four. To feel the gratitude, especially in that hard energy, open up to what you already have and allow yourself to feel that and not get caught up in what you don't have. All right. Don't be a rat. Okay. All right, the second card, if you chose card number two, this is always one of my favorites, is the hanged man. This is about, like, really, patience with yourself. Put your feet up. Turn upside down like this little old bat, like hang upside down, literally, all right, so that you can get a new perspective. All right, and again, always, always reminded of that little radar. The bats have a different radar, right? So go within. Use your senses in a different way, all right? Don't always stay stuck in the logical. Look at perspective. Look at a different perspective for you. All right. And then the third card, if you chose it, was the Seven of Cups. Always an interesting card, too. All right. So this is a lot about illusions. Like even this card, is it up or is it down? Which way is it? So these are like the illusions. And this is the energy we're in right now, especially with that Saturn and Pluto energy. What are the illusions you're telling yourself? All right. And this is going to start to break open. All right. What can you also do to turn that other cup around? Like, Riley, you're like, really look at the reality of what's going on. And that energy is going to come around. This is what that, again, that conjunction energy is about. So we have to, like, really be honest, be in the reality of what we're doing. All right? Bring yourself back to earth. Ground this energy. Really important. And, again, all of this emotional energy we went through this weekend is exactly what this card is about. We pull this energy in. What's real? What's not? How are we perceiving? How are we not? What are the illusions? And what's the reality? Sometimes it's hard to tell. It is, all right, especially when we're caught in the middle of it. So this is a good card to remind you to really ground your energy and really understand more of what it is that you can let go of so you can have this transformation in your life, have gratitude for what you have, all right, not for what you don't. You can have gratitude for what you don't as well, but don't get caught in what, the lack. Look at life from a different perspective, slow down, hang for a while, use that different sense of radar, and be real, like really let go of the illusions that you keep telling yourself and allow yourself to be more real with what is going on. All right, really good cards on the line with what's going on. Let me know how that feels for you. All right, take a deep inhale and let the energy settle in. All right, I did drop an, a podcast yesterday all about impasse and that full moon energy because boy, there's a lot to pull in. So be sure and check it out. Offer a ritual meditation as well. All right, I have some great stuff going on with Reiki. I'm going to be doing a meetup, a gathering of anybody in the community that's working with Reiki, practicing Reiki. We're going to be talking about it over at Practice Works January 21st. I do have a Reiki 1 January 25th, and I'm going to be announcing my Reiki 3 retreat. I've almost got the details figured out. I know many people have been asking. Super excited about that. More to come as well. Now, we had a great time Saturday over at Beacon Vision Boarding. Yay! Unfortunately, the weather was really bad and several people couldn't make it. We didn't cancel because many of us were there, so we are going to have a makeup day. And if you wanted to join but couldn't, you'll have another opportunity. I believe it is on Sunday. I'll have to post it. I can't remember. Sunday the 26th, all right? At Beacon, we'll do a makeup day. If you were, if you had already signed up and you couldn't make it, or if you want to come, come join us. All right. <clears throat> if anybody would like a card, let this catch up. Let me know how you're doing. I would love to pick a few for you as well. All right. Got a lot over here on Instagram. Where's everybody on Facebook? All right. Summer. I know you got a big day tomorrow. Let's see what's up for you. Take a deep breath. 
All right, here we go. Summer. All right, Summer, this is the three of wands. All right, so this is like we're just take a little bit of a step back, witness what's going on. Really important to try to let go of the emotions, but understand what that desire and that purpose is for you underneath. All right, go in a little deeper. You know how to do this. Things are coming together. All right, go in deeper, but be sure to pull back a little bit. Threes are always about that initial completion. Take a step back. I know you know what to do. Be calm, release the emotions, go in a little deeper, let your spiritual energy guide you, all right? You know what I'm talking about. All right, all right, Ray Lee, this card is for you, the chariot. All right, so this card is about horsepower. It's about taking the tools and the gifts that you have and moving forward with determination. All right, look at that, it's like movement forward. So know that you have the tools that you need to do this, Choose that path and go for it, all right? It is a major arcana. Let me know how that feels, all right? All right, Fariz, this card is for you. Father of Pentacles. All right, so this is some of the energy about entrepreneurship, being able to create and bring the abundance into your life. Look how he carries those horns. Really beautiful, right? So know that you can bring this energy in for you as well. Ground with Mother Earth. Be forward in what you're doing and know that you have the ability to manifest, all right? A great card for that. All right, Attitude, how are you? Card for you. This is the Eight of Pentacles. This is about building your craft, building your skills, keep doing what you're doing. It's all weaving together. Sometimes this reminds us too to look at the details, all right? Just like those fine spider webs. Look at the little details of your life. Know that you're consistently building and it's all moving well in a great place. This is earth energy, money energy, work energy as well. All right, Maris. All right, Marissa, this is the Seven of Wands. I love this card because it just reminds you to keep shining your light. If you keep standing strong in what it is, that's that passion and desires. You will overcome any difficulties you may have had. Keep shining that light. Look how bright it is. All right, Wands is our passions and our desires as well. All right? All right. Love the chariot. All right, perfect. Thank you. Very good. Leah, take a card. Oh, yes, come, come. We had so much fun. It was really great. We will do it again. So, Leah, this card is for you. All right, so this is a little bit about getting caught in the drama. Careful of that, especially with that emotional energy coming in, the nine of swords. All right, it kind of looks a little funky, right? But there is a little bit of order to the disorder. So definitely don't get caught in the drama. Be sure to clear your energy, cut those cords. I know I had to do it myself, all right? Like just done, all right? Let's not go in the round and around and around anymore. Cut the cords and step back, okay? Don't get caught in the drama. All right, that card made me smile. I feel it. I learned so much and still learning. All right, great. All right. Oh, thank you. Being an inspiration. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You love that. All right, Carla, great to hear from that as well. All right, who did I miss? I feel like I missed some people. Hey, Sin, who else would like a card? Jackie, you want a card? Let me know if you want a card. All right. Anybody else post if you do. All right. Give you another second. Be sure to check out the podcast. All right. And also, too, if you're in the local area and you've been studying Reiki and would like to go further and like to join us to help really expand and magnify, reach out. Let me know. All right. Definitely some great things coming up. Got some things on the horizon. Got that vision board working for me. All right. Anybody else? I think we've got everybody. Hey, Kate, how are you? All right, last chance. Anybody else, if I didn't draw you a card and you want one, please let me know. Otherwise, be strong. I would love to come to San Francisco. Carla, my son lives there. I actually have to come out there for sure. All right, Kate, how are you? Would love it. All right, y'all. It's going to be an easier week. But we still need to do this. Cleaning energy is vital, right? Pretty draining. It definitely is pretty draining. Yes, thank you. For sure, check out the podcast. That'll help you release. The ritual is a lot of fun and help you take that energy forward. We all have to do our work. I'm included. We all have to do our work. We just keep doing it and working with it. Step back when you can. Cut the energy when you can. Don't get caught in the drama. A lesson I'm taking to heart right now. Don't get caught in the drama. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're in the group, keep doing that work. Keep doing that manifesting. We're on day 12. It continues. All right. Thanks again. Have a great week. Be strong. Be clear. Slow down to your spirit. Namaste.